शांति मुरली डेट ट्वेंटी थर्ड फेब्रवरी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर एसेंस स्वीट चिल्ड्रेन कीप योर चार्ट एंड यू विल बी एबल टू टेल वेदर यू आर मूविंग फॉरवर्ड्स और बैकवर्ड्स बॉडी कॉन्शियसनेस मूव्स यू बैकवर्ड्स वेर एज द स्टेज ऑफ सोल कॉन्शियसनेस मूव्स यू फॉरवर्ड्स क्वेश्चन वॉट इज द मेन डिफरेंस बिटवीन सोल्स हु कम एट द बिगनिंग ऑफ द गोल्डन एज एंड सोल्स हु कम लेटर आंसर द सोल्स हु कम एट द बिगनिंग विल डिज़ायर हैप्पीनेस बिकॉज द ओरिजिनल इटरनल रिलीजन ऑफ द गोल्डन एज वन दैट गिवज अ लॉट ऑफ हैप्पीनेस सोल्स हु कम लेटर would not even know how to ask for happiness they would only ask for peace each soul receives the inheritance of peace and happiness from the unlimited father om shanti god speaks when you say god speaks shri krishna doesn't enter the intellects of you children only shiv baba enters your intellects the main thing is to give the father's introduction because you receive your inheritance from the father alone you would not say that you are shiv baba's followers no you are shiv baba's children always consider yourselves to be children no one else knows that he is the father the teacher and also the guru there are also many of you children who forget this even if you remember this much that is great fortune you forget baba and you then remember the worldly relatives of your bodies in fact everyone else should be removed from your intellects there should be remembrance of only the one father you say you are the mother and father if you remember any one else it not be said that you are going into salvation when you are body conscious there is only degradation when you are soul conscious there is salvation you continue to go up and down all the time sometimes you move forwards and sometimes you move backwards many become body conscious this is why baba always says keep your chart so that you will be able to tell whether you are moving forwards or backwards everything depends on remembrance you continue to go up and down while some children move along they become tired and then cry out baba this happens i forget to remember you when you become body conscious you move backwards you continue to commit one sin or another everything depends on remembrance your life spans increases by having remembrance and this is why the word yoga is very well known the subject of knowledge is very easy there are many who don't have any knowledge or yoga this causes a lot of loss many people are not able to make effort it is number wise in how you study anyway it is understood from 
how you study to what extent you are serving others you have give you have to give everyone shiv baba's introduction you know that you receive the unlimited inheritance from only the one unlimited father the main ones are the mother father and you children this is god's family it is not in any one else intellect that they are shiv baba's children and that they have to claim their inheritance from him you only have to remember the one father and that is incorporeal shiv baba give his introduction in this way he is a unlimited father how can he be omnipresent how could you receive your inheritance from him how could you become pure you wouldn't be able to become that the father repeatedly tells you man manabhav remember me no one knows this in fact not everyone knows shri krishna either how could the one with the peacock feathered crown come here this is very elevated knowledge there would definitely be some difficulties in elevated knowledge it is also called easy knowledge it is easy to claim your inheritance from the father why do some children think that it is difficult because they are unable to remember the father baba has told you children the secrets of degradation and salvation at this time all are going into degradation the dictates of human beings take you into degradation whereas these are god's directions this is why baba has had the picture made showing the contrast each human being can ask himself whether he is a resident of hell or a resident of heaven it is not the golden age now but people don't understand anything they consider the golden age to be imagination there are innumerable dictates there is degradation through innumerable dictates there is salvation through the directions of the one this is a very good slogan human beings take human beings into degradation god alone grants salvation to everyone so you speak pure words when you say this you sing praise of the father he is the father of all and he grants salvation to everyone the father has explained to you children many times tell them you take the scriptures around in a truck at down but now that the end of the iron age is coming heavenly god the father is enabling us to attain this status you have to make effort to explain you can also drop leaflets from an aeroplane we sing praise of the one father alone he alone is the bestower of salvation for all the father says children i grant you salvation so who then takes you into degradation it is said there is heaven for half the cycle and then there is hell for half the cycle the kingdom of a ravan means the devilish kingdom 
where you continue to fall by following the wrong dictates of ravan the purifier father is only the one father and we are becoming the masters of the world through the father you also have to remove your attachment from your bodies if swans and strokes stay together how can attachment be removed each one circumstances are considered if you have courage and you are able to carry out everything for your own livelihood why do you become engrossed in a lot of complications the stomach does not ask for much simply eat two chapatis and there is no other concern nevertheless you have to promise yourselves that you will only remember the one father through which all your sins will be absolved this doesn't mean that you can't carry out your business if you don't do business where would you get money from you are not going to beg from anything this is your home and you eat from shiv baba's treasure store if you don't do service and are eating for nothing that is like living on what you have begged for you will then have to serve for 21 birds all are here and there too from kings to paupers but there is constant happiness there whereas here there is constant sorrow they all have their own positions you have to have full yoga with the father and also do service each of you has to ask your own heart how much do i serve the yagya it is said all accounts are already with god you just have to observe as a detached observer what status you would claim by having that type of activity you can understand that by following shrimat you receive such a high status and that by not following shrimat your status is reduced so much all of these things have to be understood when any one of any religion comes to you at the exhibition tell him you receive the inheritance of unlimited peace and happiness from the unlimited father only the unlimited father is the bestower of peace he alone is called the bestower of peace now non living images would not give you peace the father says your original religion is peace you wish to go to the land of peace you say shiv baba gave us peace so why would the father not give it would the father not give the inheritance to you children you say shiv baba give us happiness he is the one who establishes heaven so why would he not give you happiness if you don't remember him and don't ask him for anything what would he give you baba alone is the ocean of peace you want happiness and so the father says you will go into happiness after receiving peace those who come first will receive happiness those who come later would not even know how to ask for happiness 
they would only ask for liberation first of all everyone will go into liberation there will be no sorrow at all there you know that you will go to the land of liberation and then go into liberation in life and all the rest will stay in liberation this is called the time of settlement the karmic accounts of every one are to be settled the karmic accounts of every one are to be settled even animals have karmic accounts some stay with kings and they are given so much sustenance even race horses are looked after very well because if horses are fast they bring a good income their master would definitely love them this too is fixed in the drama there are no races there they begin later all of this is in the predestined drama you now also know the beginning middle and the end of the drama in the beginning there will be very few people we will continue to rule the world each one of you can understand whether you can become this or not do i bring benefit to many others you have to make effort for this because you have now found the father people of the world continue to fight and quarrel among themselves look what they continue to make for destruction they make such bombs that everything is set on fire the fire is not going to get any less there won't be any one to put out the fire they continue to make so many bombs they put gas and poison into them so that it kills everyone as soon as it gets into the atmosphere death is just ahead therefore the father says claim your inheritance if you want it make effort don't get too engrossed in your business you have to have so much concern baba made this one free this world is now dirty you children have to remember the father so that your sins can be absolved and you are able to claim your inheritance from the father you have to remember him with a lot of love your hearts become happy as soon as you see the picture of lakshmi and narayan this is our aim and objective although you used to worship them you didn't know that you could become like them yesterday i was a worshipper and today i am becoming worthy of worship when baba came he stopped worshiping the father gave him a vision of a distraction the father gave him the vision of destruction and establishment the father gave him a vision of destruction and establishment we are becoming the masters of the world all of this is to be destroyed so why should we not remember the father internally you continue to sing praise of the one alone baba you are so sweet you know that the father of all of us souls is only that one and that we receive our inheritance from him we used to remember him on the path of devotion 
he is a resident of the supreme abode this is why there is also his image if he hadn't come why would there be his image they too celebrate the birthday of shiva he is called the supreme father the supreme soul all others are called human beings or deities first of all there was the original eternal deity religion the other religions then came later so you should remember such a father with so much love on the path of devotion they shout out a great deal they don't understand the meaning of it at all they continue to praise whoever comes they have so much praise how would they praise the father you are krishna you are vyas you are so and so however that is defamation people defame the father so much the father says according to the drama all of them defame me and i then come and uplift them all i grant everyone salvation i have come to establish the new world this is a play about victory and defeat this predestined drama is of 5000 years there cannot be the slightest difference in it no one except the father can tell you the secrets of the drama there are so many human dictates that continue to emerge you cannot receive directions from the deities the rest are human dictates each one continues to show his own wisdom you must no longer remember anyone else you souls should simply continue to remember your father you must no longer remember anyone else you souls should simply continue to remember your father you had to make this effort just as devotees make that effort they perform devotion with a lot of faith just as they do devotion so you have to make effort on the path of knowledge do they make any less effort on the path of devotion gurus say turn the beads of a rosary 100 times every day so they go and sit in their eclopes and do that it takes them hours to turn the beads of a rosary generally people chant the name of rama here you have to stay in remembrance of the father you have to remember him with a lot of love baba is the sweetest of all he says simply remember me and imbibe divine virtues only each of you does this yourself will you be able to show the path to others only each of you does this yourself will you be able to show the path to others no one else can be as sweet as the father you find sweet baba after a cycle therefore one can't tell why you forget such a sweet father the father is the creator of heaven and so you will surely become the masters of heaven however in order to remove the rust you have to remember the father what is the difficulty that you cannot remember him tell baba the reason why it is difficult to remember the father acha to the sweetest beloved lucky stars
the long lost and now found children love remembrance and good morning from the mother the father the bab dada the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children essence for dharana first point you definitely have to perform actions for the livelihood of your body but you mustn't become too caught up in complications let there be no such worries about your business etc that you forget to remember the father renounce all the many human dictates and follow the directions of the one father sing praise of the one father love the one father alone remove your attachment from everyone else blessing may you be master knowledgeful and remain safe from any attack of your old sanskars by maintaining an attitude of unlimited disinterest because of old sanskars there are obstacles in service and relationships and connections sanskars pull you to themselves in different ways when you are attracted to someone you cannot have disinterest if there are even hidden traces of sanskars they will become their progni according to the time and keep you under an external influence therefore be master knowledgeful and maintain an attitude of unlimited disinterest and you will be free from any attack of your old sanskars relationships and material comforts and remain safe slogan be fearless of maya and humble in your relationships with one another om shanti thank you baba thank you